So we are going to have to give you a couple of shots, though, in the toe. And I'm going to have, uh, uh, well, we've got Gonzo just came in. Gonzo's going to do the cold spray. Let's do right on the inside first. Ooh. So you're going to need a couple of shots. You're going to feel some cold spray. That'll numb it up, and then we'll give you the shot. You ready? Good. There it goes. Oh, Stick. Sweetie. Staying in a burn. Nice. Good slow break. Good, good, good. good You're done great. Okay. Yeah. Baby's almost out. Let's no, get the staying. other side now. I already cleaned these, but let's do it again. There we go. Gonzo with the... Where did you learn the cold spray? Where you, you're spraying the other toes. I don't know. I didn't. I'm sorry. The other stick. Okay, this time we got some blood with it. Now we're good. Sting and a burn. Breathe, man. That's looking really fantastic. Now we're going to give you a good, uh, I'm going to say 10 to 15 minutes because you got a lot of infection on this toe. Okay. So it's going to make uh, the uh, the uh, anesthetic isn't going to be as effective. So we're going to give it more time to work. We'll do a little operation here, just a small one. This is a uh, this is a top ten worst toenails this year. I'll tell you that for sure. This is something to be proud of. Now, did you wear tight shoes or something? Do you know what caused this? Uh, I kept my toenail too short. Cut your toenail too short. Well, don't do that. No, sir. We're going to test you now. Okay. See if you numb. Little stick. If it hurts, you tell me. Don't yeah. kick the doctor. Yep. You felt that. I think you yes, felt sir. that. Okay. We're going to give you a little more medicine right now. I'm going to come on with this side. Stick, sting, and a burn. Here goes. I'm going to come across the top here in case uh, we need a little bit more. There. How'd that feel? Okay. A little bit more over here now. You're still, honey. Sorry about that. Yeah. There you go. You should be quite numb now. You with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're allowed to say bad words to me if you want. You're good. <laughs> okay. Just want you to know we're laughing with you, not at you. Uh, let's see. What do you want to talk about today? You, uh, you looking forward to the game tomorrow? Yes. Which game? Okay, we're going to try a little pressure here. If it hurts, you tell me. Okay. Hopefully we've anesthetized Excellent. well enough. You felt that? I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Did it hurt or did yeah. it just feel no, pressure? It hurt. The it hurt. Okay. Well, we are, our goal is not to cause pain. So we'll get an idea. I'm not sure who the quarterback's going to be. If it's going to be... I hope it's Mallet. I kind of like Mallet from last year. Yeah. All right, we're going to check you again here. Let's see if we did a little better. No, You'll feel pressure, okay? Don't let that scare you. No, that's not pressure. You feel pain. All right. I'm so sorry. No, don't be, because it tells me that, look, whenever you have this much infection, it takes more medicine. Now, you've got a good eight cc's of lidocaine so far in your toe. That's a lot of anesthetic, and it's just not working yet. We've given you about, it's been about 20 minutes since we yes. injected it. So we're going to stop again. We're going to okay. go get another uh, needle and more in medicine, and we're going to inject you with some more. Right. See you in a bit. Right, we're back. Poor oh, Calvin. Please. Poor Calvin. This is going to be uh, CC's 9, 10, and 11 in this toe. It's just difficult to see where to put this because this is so swollen and tender. This is extremely hot so, up in here. Did you get the toothpaste, Jenny? All right. Here we go. Another shot. He's pretty numb. I'm surprised that uh, it's just hurting deep in there. So we're just injecting. You feeling it? Yeah. Okay, deep breath. Come on, Calvin, breathe, man. It's all good. It's all good. You're a good guy. I'm feeling bad about your pain here. That's why we're giving you more. I would give you my hand to squeeze, but you would probably break my fingers. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Gonzo. You're a pal. You're going to be ready to do a tube gauze in a few minutes? Yeah, I have to go look for this stuff. I got a feeling we are eventually going to get this. I'm not going to be defeated. We're going to get this man some pain relief and get this nail out. Appreciate it. All right. You still have me. You don't feel that. Fantastic. I think we whatever, whatever uh, nerve it was that... Didn't, didn't want to go to sleep. I think finally did. Don't cry, it's okay, Dems. He's not crying, Gonzo. <laughs> I, ha I had to make him laugh. I'm sorry. Well, you did a good job. 
If you'd laugh. Yeah. All right, here comes the click. You ready? Yes, sir. Mm. Wasn't that loud, was it? No. It wasn't a really good, loud, snappy click. It's because this is one of those rotten nails. That was yeah. easy. Yeah. It just came right out. Yeah. Well, there's some right in your drawer. Yeah. I could have put the tourniquet on before, but it wouldn't have mattered. We're going to put it on now because we're going to go ahead and give you the matrix removing treatment. All right. We're still watching. We've got some phenol on the tip of this cotton tipped applicator. And uh, that's an organic acid car called uh, carbolic acid. So we're just going to leave it in there for about 20, 30 seconds or so. Poor Calvin, he's just had a rough time of it. Doesn't hurt at all now, does it? No, sir. Sorry, I don't destroy the matrix like that on the, the first time that happens. But yours is so awful, and the fact that you probably wear some industrial kind of boots every now and then, I think you're at a higher risk, so we're going to do it. Now we have Miss Gonzo going to do a little tube gauze on here. Our typical instructions we're going to give you, all you have to do with this is keep it dry for three days. Yes, sir. If you can accomplish that, it won't hurt more than just be a little tender tomorrow. Okay. Now I'll give you something for pain just in case you need it, but you probably won't. Okay. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, According to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and can use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. Uh, if I miss a day, there's no doubt I, I lose energy earlier in the day and um, I won't go without it in the future. It has helped me so very much with working. It gives me a lot more energy throughout the day and instead of being in the middle of the day, I can get through my whole day and it's been working really well. And I have a lot of energy. I'm not wired up or anything. It feels natural and I recommend this product to everyone. So get your bottle of Meta7 today. Check out the Amazon links in the description below, and you can order today with Amazon Prime. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's 7-piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case, and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.